debate between candidates vying to become LA's next mayor turned raucous after protesters interrupted multiple times. The debate was hosted by Loyola Marymount University and protested by members of at least one progressive group. Marla Tay is here with more on what happened. Marla? Alex and Christine, the first mayoral debate featured five candidates and even more protesters, more than half a dozen from the group known as the People's City Council of Los Angeles. The group often works hand-in-hand -hand with Black Lives Matter, and they were not shy about voicing their opposition. Increase. Oh, f hey. You're a Get him out of here. This is just one of the moments Get protesters delayed the debate featuring LA City Council members Joe Buscaino, Kevin DeLeon, City Attorney Mike Fuhr, former Metro Board member Mel Wilson, and frontrunner Congresswoman Karen Bass. At one point, a protester attempted to storm the stage before security guards stepped in. The profanity laced outburst caught on cell phone video. Black Lives Matter did not organize that disruption, but we do support the idea of being able to protest. BLM Los Angeles leader Melina Abdullah watched the debate live on television. She confirms the People's City Council of Los Angeles organized the protests, which she supports. Like the protesters, she's upset every candidate announced they would not defund the police, including her longtime friend and current chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Karen Bass, who Abdullah called out on Twitter. The mayoral candidate, Karen Bass, is making missteps and mistakes, um, especially around how she's viewing public safety. And I want to call her back into her truest self, the progressive Karen Bass that I've known and loved for several decades now. About the disruptions, the candidates weighed in. I think we should pay our uh, security guards extra tonight. Would you agree? I don't know who these people are, what organization they might be affiliated with, but I do think that this is indicative of the discourse in our country right now. Do you think in the end that it was uh, productive or counterproductive? I think it's really important that voices of dissent are heard. A total of six protesters were escorted out by security. No one was detained or arrested. We did reach out to Congresswoman Karen Bass for comment today. We have not yet heard back. Also, candidate businessman and developer Rick Caruso, he was invited to attend the debate but declined due to a scheduling conflict. Alex? Or at least says he declined because of a scheduling conflict. Marla.